Now this video is different than the usual content that I upload on my channel, but it is my channel. They always say do what you love, and to me, that's Rooster Teeth. So let's begin. Griff's story about Simmons not wanting to go to the Vegas Quadrant is a reference to a real life story in which Simmons' voice actor, Gus Sarola, refuses to go on a trip to Las Vegas. Hey, that's not exactly what happened. Yes, it is. You said, I'm not going to the Vegas Quadrant, and then the next thing I know, you're in an escape pod headed Excuse through. me, uh, sirs? Gus goes, I'm not going to Vegas. I go, what do you mean you're not going to Vegas? And he gets so fucking infuriated. And I'm like, what's, what's going on? Why are you so mad about Vegas? He goes, I'm not going to Vegas. Don't talk about Vegas. <laughs> Donut is sent to get headlight fluid. A quote said by Gavin Free. We need you to go to the store and get two quarts of elbow grease. Yeah, and uh, pick up some headlight fluid for the Puma, too. The what? The, the headlight fluid container made it into the car onto his lap. The headlight fluid container, really? That's amazing. <laughs> I can't believe it went all the way from the headlight fluid <laughs> container went from all the way into the hood into Did his lap. Did you just say headlight <laughs> fluid? What are you talking about? That's, there's no such thing! <laughs> Do you really think there's headlight fluid? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, really? the lights are dim. Better put some more fluid in there. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta top off the headlights! <laughs> The episode 1.21 Gigawatts features one of the more famous composite shots that led to the series' popularity. Griff and Simmons board the Warthog at the same time. While in the Halo Combat Evolved game engine, it was not possible for two players of different colors to do this. The episode's title is a reference to the 1985 film Back to the Future. This sucker's electrical, but I need a nuclear reaction to, to generate the 1.21 Gigawatts of electricity. 1.21 oh, Gigawatts! 1.21 gigawatts! Great Scott! What? What the hell is a gigawatt? Sheila's line I'm scared, Dave. Will I dream? Daisy. Daisy. Is a reference to the novel and film 2001 A Space Odyssey. Will I dream? In the Revelation DVD audio commentary, it is confirmed that Sarge is in a form of armor lock after getting shot. People believe that Sarge is in some sort of purgatory, but really, Bernie calls this dead world. Basically, it is a form of armor lock that Sheila can force upon you. It is a recovery mode that initiates after being put into armor lock. I'm not dead. Are you dead? Well, yeah. That's how I ended up here. Several of Tucker's lines were recorded by Jason Saldana's brother, including the line about Caboose's constant team killing. I'm sorry, what? It's kind of hard to hear you over the sound of your constant team killing. Ah! 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 Yeah! Ah! Yeah! Ah! Ah! Don't make me mad. Tucker's comment about Church's body stinking was confirmed to be purely out of humor. Dude, you really stink. What? Your body. It stinks. It was later revealed that Church never actually had a genuine human body. Rather, he was always an AI in a robotic body, ironically meaning that he could have indeed possessed his own dead body. Why don't you just possess your own body? Oh, I see. So that way I would be living inside of my own dead body. Yes. Unable to move. Just laying there rotting in the sun for all eternity. Yes. Okay, Caboose. I'll be sure to get right on that. Simmons is colored red instead of maroon during the warthog scenes in order to allow both him and Sarge to board it at the same time. Church is subtitled as saying son of a bitch. Madre de Dios! But in actuality, he is yelling mother of God. During Church and Tucker's discussion of temperature, Caboose can be seen running in the base. In episode 50 part 2, this is recognized to be a future version of Church, and not actually Caboose. If paused at the right time, you could see a player driving the Warthog during the scene where it supposedly drives by itself. Drive. Jumping to hold the fence, they've cracked the code! In the original version of this episode, Tucker was accidentally colored teal instead of cyan. This was corrected in the remastered version. Church appears solid at 121. I figured he was here to steal back Lopez, but he won't give us anything, except a list of crockpot recipes. When a holographic projection of Simmons appears in front of Sarge, Sarge yells, Greg Gustavo, what's going on down there? A reference to Simmons' voice actor, Gustavo Cirola. 
The drunk tank is led by our chief technology officer, Mr. Gustavo Zorolo. In the last quote of the episode, the Red Zealot nearly quotes Robert Oppenheimer's famous saying. Well, I guess it's back to basics now. Get ready for destruction, Blues. We're gonna kick your ass. We have become deaf. Destroyer of where- Oh wait, hold on. I gotta take out the trash. I'll be right back. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. Griff's first few lines are quotes from Planet of the Apes. They destroyed it all, Simmons. Those damn stupid bastards. They blew it all up. Damn them! Damn them to hell! Those damn dirty apes! Calm down, Griff. We finally really did it. You maniacs! You blew it up! Ah, oh, damn you! God damn you all to hell! Lopez saying, Yuck, yuck, is a reference to the Three Stooges since Curly's laugh is written as Nyuck. The doghouse! In the episode, it's a biological fact. Caboose must carry the bomb because he's the only one strong enough. However, because Assault is a team-based game in Halo 2, only Solid Red or Solid Blue players can be seen in the same shot with the bomb. In the episode Silver Linings, Omega is depicted as infecting Caboose immediately after Tex is killed by Donut. Oh, crap! Alright, that's it. I quit. I'm going to live in a cave. Dios mio, no! That looks like church. Come in, church. Is that you, church? <laughs> In the original episode, Omega had infected Caboose before Tex's death, evidenced by Caboose introducing himself as O'Malley when attempting to warn Church that Tex had repaired Sheila. Calling Church. Come in, Church. This is your close, personal friend, Private O'Malley. O'Malley? You said your name was Caboose. I never said that. You guys did. Tucker's line... Oh, I want to hear the long version, but can you tell me in three parts? Is a reference to how it took three episodes for Church to get to the future. Yellow Church can briefly be seen in a group of appearing other churches in Marathon before he is seen on Sidewinder. It should be noted that the episode Same Old Same Old is mostly inspired by Infinity, the third game in the Marathon trilogy. The plot of Infinity centers around a protagonist looping through time and space in an effort to save the universe. What do you want with Tucker's kid anyway? What? How do we get here? What? What's wrong with you? With me? What's happening? Um, we're being held prisoner? Where the hell have you been? What? How? I'm so confused! One of the alternate endings to the episode Why Were We Here references conversations between Simmons and Griff. When Church is inside Caboose's mind and meets Yellow Church, he is asked where he came from. Yellow Church's response is a reference to the television show, Lost. I came here in a spaceship that came from the moon. It crashed next to Blue Base, and now I live with Caboose, and the people from the tail section of the spaceship live on the other side of the island. There you have it, the easter eggs, references, and overall fun facts about the Blood Gold Chronicles. If I missed any, make sure to comment them down below.